Hello everybody, today I will be teaching you how to set up and use WorldGuard GUI. It is meant for versions 1.8.8 all the way up to 1.18.2 and allows you to configure all your WorldGuard regions using a GUI. This helps prevent the need to remember all the different commands to configure each region, like adding or removing flags. To get started, click Download Now. What you will also need is WorldGuard, World Edit, or Fast Async World Edit. So, I have my World Guard here and my World Edit here. All downloaded, then head over to your file manager, your plugins folder, and go ahead and upload the files. Once your files are uploaded, head over to your console and start the server. I hate to interrupt today's video, but today's video is sponsored by PyroHost.Cloud. Get started hosting your Minecraft server, website, or Discord bot starting as low as $1 a month. Their amazing support team will also help you if you want a custom plan to fit your needs exactly. Make sure to check them out by clicking the link in the description or by heading to pyrohost.cloud. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right back into it. Once your server is online, go ahead and join it. Once on your server, find the region you would like to protect and get your world guard wand by using slash slash wand. And that will give you this wooden axe, which then you select the region you would like to protect. So I'm going to go ahead and come up to the upper corner and I'm going to use up one to get a block and I'm going to set my first position there and I'm going to come over here to my bottom corner and right click here and as you can see I have selected 38,000 blocks I would like to protect then I simply use slash RG flag or uh, RG define my bad and then you give it a name so I'm going to name it test and as you can see it's now been created now to use the word guard GUI simply run slash WG GUI Oop, and put the name, so test, and as you can see, it pulls it up, and you can manage the flags of the region. You can set a parent region, you can use templates, you can also show the border, you can rename it, you can block commands in it, you can also save this region as a template, you can also find more information about this plugin, and delete the region. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and set the flags for the region. To do this, click the grass block, and here, you can find all the different flags including interact which is like the ability to open and close doors or block place or block break i mean so do you want people to be able to break blocks or not if you do want them to be able to break blocks make sure to enable this but the most important flag here is invincible which is if you're going to build a hub you're probably going to protect it with world guard so you set the flag for invincible meaning nobody will be able to die in your hub take damage, fall damage, or even lose hunger. So I'm gonna turn this on. And if we come back to the main GUI here, you can see it saves and it's now taken effect for this region. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. The next step is to set the region's parent. This is only if you have a really big region and you're gonna have a small little region inside of it, but I'm not gonna get into that in this tutorial because this is a nice, short, simple tutorial. The next thing you can do is if you set custom flags here, you can save this as a template. And if you come over here to templates, you can use it if you have saved it. But the plugin by default comes with a spawn template where you won't die and you can't PVP. There's no explosions allowed, mob spawning, or interacting with anything. There are a few more things you can do on this GUI, including showing the border, which if you click this, as you can see, it shows the border of the whatever region for 15 seconds. And this is very helpful if you forget how big it is or how tall it is. As you can see, after 15 seconds, the border went away. If you reopen this GUI, there's two more things you can do. You can rename the region and you can also block certain commands. So if you come in here and you click add blocked commands, you can uh, block certain commands uh, in this region. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention. You can also delete the region by clicking that and clicking confirm. Due to this plugin being so simple, there's no configuration needed. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below saying what plugin I should do tutorial on next. And I'll see you next time.